time to bake. Do you like to do crafting activities with kids and like to bake? Well, today I have a fun activity for you, so keep on watching to learn more. Hi, I'm Amy, pediatric occupational therapist and founder of Play It Be, and I'm here today to provide you with some playful solutions and powerful results. Mmm. So warm and cozy. I don't know about you, but I like to bake when I want to feel nice and warm and cozy, and Christmas time is a great time to do that. I'm going to show you how to do some simple baking in order to make some Christmas ornaments. So let's get started. Today I'm going to show you how to do a sensory play activity for Christmas time, making ornaments out of cornmeal. So this activity is going to be a nice way to do a gluten-free sensory experience for your child if that's something that you need or if you just want to try something different. It's a simple way to make ornaments with a little bit of baking and a lot of fun. What we're going to do is we're going to use three ingredients. We're going to use about a cup of baking soda, about half a cup of corn flour, corn meal, and three fourths of a cup of warm water up to a cup if you need a little bit more. You can always cut these ingredients in half if you don't want to use so much or if you just want to make a small batch or don't have enough ingredients. What you're going to do is put your dry ingredients into a bowl and then you're going to slowly add in your warm water and you're going to mix it up and it's going to create a nice little dough. And that's your opportunity to play. You're going to have your child just kind of knead around in it and have fun feeling the texture, smelling it, just getting used to all of its glory all over your hands. And you're kind of roll it out. If you don't have a rolling pin, you can also use a pestle. This will help you to roll out the dough and make it nice and smooth, just about a quarter to a half inch thick. Then you're gonna use some cookie cutters to create different shapes if you like. If you don't have any of those, you can always just use a small round circular bowl and cut around that so that you can create a circular shape. One of the things you want to remember is to maybe use a straw or something similar to poke out a hole so that you can have space for your ornament to be attached to string so that you can actually put it on a tree. When you're all done with this, you're going to decorate your ornaments in different ways. You can put initials, maybe a name, Maybe you can even get your pet involved and use a paw print. After you're done with that, you're going to stick it in the oven at about 300 degrees and you're going to put it in there for just 20 minutes and they'll be all done. After you're done letting your ornaments cool off a bit, you're going to start painting them. You can use regular paint or you can leave them by themselves just the way they are. You can also add some glitter. This is your opportunity to be creative and decorate them as you please. And that's it. That's going to be your simple ornament. Again, remember that the time that you're spending with the dough is really a great opportunity for you to get your child involved in that sensory play. And the fact that it's gluten-free using your cornmeal allows that activity to be safe for kids who are gluten-free in case they put it in their mouths or get it a little bit too messy and somehow ingest it in some way. Providing sensory play activities is a great way to have your child have different textures and feeling on their fingertips and on their hands. So working with dough is a great way to have them have that experience and it leads to fun activities as well. I would love to see your creation, so feel free to send some photos to play at these so that we can see how they came out and possibly share them on our social media. I'm elated with how this came out. Did you like this video? I hope that you did. If you did, I want you to subscribe to this channel, like this video, or leave a comment. You can also head over to playupy.com where you can sign up for the monthly newsletter. You'll get discounts, news, and more. Plus, you can check out the award-winning PALS handwriting program. So I hope to see you over there as well. Until the next video, have a playful day. Yay!